Alrighty. Okay, so we need to get, ne get another miner. Now, do we do this or... Hello? What was that? Little crab things. <laughs> do we do the copper first? Or do we get another... Uh... Oh, it's so many things to do and it's all so expensive. I feel like we should get this logistics thing done because that means just make everything a lot easier. Maybe. Or maybe we just keep making conveyor belts. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> well, what we should do, do these, these don't ever fill up, do they? They basically, one smelter is, is one constructor. So we're gonna need like another constructor or two to make the things. So we'll have the space elevator. How do we start making that? Special. Space elevator, here we go. This needs 500 concrete, 1500 wire, 400 poles, 250 plates. No, do I do this first? Well, let's make another constructor that can make us wire, and we're gonna make another miner that gets us copper. That's a good idea. And so we're gonna make a, a miner, miner mark one. We're gonna make it by the copper. Pick you up, and then we make a miner mark one. And we're gonna have the output. Oh, I, I can't, I, have need, I need more iron rods. More iron rods. Right, where's the output gonna go? There? Now we wanna, do we want it to come in the same direction as the other one? Kind of do, don't we? Or we make it go down the hill and then around with the iron ones. That could work. Sure, we'll do that. Let's keep this base nice and neat. We don't want it to be a maze. We wanna know where the conveyor belts are. Okay, so that needs power as well. Um, so, power line. Ah, now, where are we gonna put this? Because I remember this one's full. This one's full. This one's not full. Is that gonna just go all the way there? That seems bonkers. I think we need to make another line. We'll put another line here. There we go. That gives us more options on this one. Okay, so that's powered. Now, is it? are we gonna run low on power? Do we wanna make a biomass burner? How do we know? Because biomass isn't exactly is this the capacity, this line here? Consumption and production is the same. So I think we've got until that line reaches the... So maybe we're okay now until we get a third. Let's put a constructor down and see... Uh, a smelter, rather. Let's see if that uses up too much power. Wait, a constructor as well. Power that bad boy. And let's see. We're not too far. We're okay, I think. We're making 40, and these like use five each. We're pretty close to the limit, actually. Let's, let's put down another one. Whoa, <laughs> that's huge. Power line, U to U. So we've got more power in the grid. You need biomass, though. All right, we're making lots more power. There we go, look, the line goes dry, right up. We're making 60 now. 60 in the grid. We need to get more biomass. Got a constant, that's the one thing you've got to do manual at the moment is, is power. There must be a way to automate that at some point. Maybe I should make the chainsaw. I haven't learned it yet though. <laughs> now what we could, what, what would be nice is to have like capacitors so we don't just waste the power that we're not using. In fact, maybe we just turn this one off until we need it. It's a good idea. So we've got it in case it all goes wrong, but until then, there's no point in having it. Right, so this is powered. We need conveyor belts going. We need another smelter as well. So let's get that going. So, smelter. Okay, so we want to have the input coming around this way. And stick that on the grid. In line with this. Do. Convey about from you to you. Oh. Is that wrong? <gasps> I put it the wrong way around. That was silly. That's better. Now we do convey about from you to you. Boom. All right, so this is going to be copper. So we have the copper, the wire maker. So we want to have the conveyor belt that goes above this one, I guess. Can we do that? How do I make it go up? Um, so there's apparently there's a way to make it go higher. Oh, there we go. Okay, got that. So we want to have, uh, I guess we'll have one here going above this. This. Oh, this is going to look cool. And then one on this side. 
There we go. All right. So we had the copper line come all the way down here. So we need to go and get a crap load of iron plates so we can do that. And uh, do we have enough concrete as well? Yeah, we've got plenty of concrete. Plenty of iron rods. Just need those plates. All right, let's do this. Conveyor belt time. All the way down here to about here. And all the way to here. And we'll go from there up to this one. And then bridge across. And this goes down. And then we'll go around here. Straight into this. Seems like a silly long way of doing it. But I like it. I like the sy symmetry of having all the lines in going one way and all the lines out going the other. I think it will make it easier in the long run. Now one thing I do want to know is where is there like an output? Like what can I output to somewhere? Like at the moment these don't go anywhere. Like I want to have a box or something I can leave things in. I guess that's something I don't know yet. Oh storage container. Here we go. It contains 24 slots for storing large amounts of items. Has an input. Here we go. It's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. So we want to have a storage container just just like here. I guess we'll just have, we'll just make three here now, for now. And then we can just always move them later. Boom. Oh, it's coming together now, guys. Yeah. Got iron rods coming in. This should be making wires. Has the copper not reached here yet? It's getting here. Oh, there it is. The river of copper is approaching. <laughs> Two per thing. Okay, we're doing it. We're powered. We're making wires soon. Oh, this is good. Everything's going into the storage. Here's the massive great coils of wire. And there they are in storage. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, do we want to do... Let's, let's look at the mast ends again. I want to see if there's a better source of power. At the moment, I'm going to get annoyed going, going around collecting biomass forever. And there's biofuel. At the moment, these things sound fun, but honestly, I just make more conveyor belts. Uh, personal storage probably isn't super important yet. I think I think we go for the biofuel thing, honestly. And I don't think it's too expensive either, so let's just go and finish that off. And that way, we can hopefully get more power for our buck. We can do this mast end, guys. This is it. This is another one. Utility. Oh. Ready for launch. Huh? Did that. Did that. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. What's happening? Additionally, you can now build the Whee! space elevator, which is integral to your contribution. To I know it is. Assembly. I know it is, but I need more things to do that. You see? Space elevator. What did I just unlock again? Let's look at the milestones again. I just forgot. Uh, oh, it returned in two minutes. Okay, now we can make biofuel, I think. Right, so that's... There we go. So we need biomass to make biofuel. Right. Okay, so we're going to see if the uh, alien thing has gone off yet. Uh, here we go. The analysis of the alien carapace is completed. Please choose a new specimen. Okay. Additional samples are required for R&D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. Oh. The creature has been named Phacocoirus plumius cotta, or fluffy-tailed hog. Fluffy-tailed hog. Let's just go, let's go, let's go down to another, we've only got seven more. We need ten more. All right, we'll send a we'll send a nut up there. <laughs> there you go. Take the nut. Enjoy. Welcome back, rocket. Wait, there he is. Wow, man, that's so cool. Very well animated. I think we just need to go and find more biomass, and then we'll make some fuel. Oh, there's some weird stuff. Oh, cool. <gasps> What's this? Ooh, it's a gas. <gasps> Can I use that later on? Oh, it hurts. Yeah, not surprising me. That's interesting. I wonder if I can use these later on as like a power source. <gasps> There's something cool up here. Look at this. It's like mushrooms. Oh, this world is really detailed. There's loads of stuff in it. Oh my god. How did I miss all this? 
Ooh. Oh no, I'm in the gas area. <gasps> I do not like it here, apparently. Oh, it's super gassy. Ooh. Okay, that's bad. Oh, there's another hog. <gasps> another two hog. Oh, this is not good. This might be dangerous. How do I avoid two at once? Wait, where's the other one gone? Ow. Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Yeah. Okay, that's ten. I've got enough to send off to the guys. And there's there's his friend. Ah, got in the first hit there that time. Bam. Yeah. Take that. Scoundrel. Hey, look. It's a beacon thing. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object <gasps> identification. Okay, there's a new baddie. Oh, it shoots fire! Owie! Oh! Oh, it's good at aiming, too. Good at Die. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I killed it. I got it. Alien organs. Oh, I want to see this big blob plant first. Hey, what's this stuff? It's a new kind of ore. Nice. Oh, what is this big, big old blob? Nothing. Maybe not need Probably need a chainsaw to cut that down. Right. Yeah, I'm heading home. I've got some new stuff I want to check out. Berry nut is complete. Okay. Let's send those ten alien carapaces. added to object scanner catalog. Ten carapaces. So we want to make another whole chunk of biomass. There we go. We can probably make a system that makes this automatically. Once we've got... We just dump the leaves in and it'll just do it. I don't think you can fuel the things by... You have to, you have to fuel the things by hand. Alright. So biofuel can make 406. There we go. It's going to take a little while of holding this button down. There we go. Plenty of biofuel now. Okay. So this is still running. This is not running. That's where we are. So let's put in 200 biofuel. Oh yeah! Pull lever to restart fuse. Chunk, we're on. That's cool. <laughs> and I'll take this out and we'll put in 100 or 200, I guess. Back in action. Right, so next we need to get a concrete production line going. We've got plates, we've got poles, and we've got wire. Now we need concrete, and then we've got everything we need for the space elevator. So let's get a miner. We need ingredients for a miner. I think I've got them all. Yeah. And we need a smelter. Yeah. And a constructor. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Let's go and start mining that limestone. Alright. So we've got the mine down here. Soon we will have limestone aplenty. Miner mark one. Output this way. Good. Hey! Alright. There we go. Okay. Get it. Alright, we need to go up here as well. Eh, that's doable. Alright, so now we need another... It doesn't actually have to be a smelter, does it? It just needs... Um, it doesn't have to be cooked. Just just concrete. It just, just turns into concrete. So we just need a uh, constructor. And an input there. Bam. Okay, so then we just connect this up. Pop that in. And then we tell this to make concrete. There we go. So that's concrete, wire, plates, and rods. So we're making everything we need to get to the... the make the space elevator, except for power. Power is our biggest problem right now. And I don't see anywhere to improve it past the fuel. How are we doing for power? I mean, we've got... We've got plenty, we just need to have enough fuel. Our specimens have been done. Looks like we're fine for that. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife. Hey, there the we go. The blueprint is now accessible in the hub. Nice. Where's the blueprint? Should we research the chainsaw and see if that helps us get biofuel? I think we should. I feel like, get, I think wood makes more biomass, so maybe if we get wood from the, um, the thing, it will be a better way to get biomass. And then we can make a, a constructor that makes the biomass for us. All right, we'll launch that. Bonk! <laughs> Woo! Milestone reached. 
Additional to an inventory expansion, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily out of wood. Chainsaw! We need 160 screws, 15 cables, and 10 reinforced iron plates. Jeez! That's not cheap. Not cheap at all. Okay, we can make a chainsaw now, I think. Let's just get that built. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's equip our chainsaw. Boom. Needs fuel. How do I fuel it? I need to have fuel on me. Oh, God, it's like a retractable one. It's bonkers. All right. Let's try it out on this tree. Yeah! Okay, yes, we've got lots of wood, lots of leaves. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Cut down the forest, burn them in the biomass machine. Ha <laughs> ha! Chainsaw man! Okay, we're out of fuel. But we can just go make a crap load of more fuel now. I'm going to put down a constructor around here somewhere. Plonk it there. And this is going to make biofuel. Okay, so I just dump in the, all of the biomass. And then you have, I only have 200 in there at once though. Hmm, hmm, is there not a way to input automatically from a, from a chest maybe? Like a logistics, no, a organize, like a storage container. Does it have an output? It does have an output, okay, that's good. And then we can just convey about the two together. Boom. And then we, all we just do is dump all the biomass in here that we make. And it should just make us fuel. Yep, yeah, that's making us fuel. And then we can make another chest um, here, which will be our fuel chest. Okay, and then we'll also have fuel next to the power, as long as we dump in biomass here. But biomass is quick to make, but it takes a while to turn into fuel. Well, that's cool. Um, we can just chainsaw trees down wherever we go. Look, I can get rid of some of these ones that are in the way. Bye-bye, trees. We're getting there. There's definitely a better way of doing it than I was doing before. Okay, so we're making concrete. How much have we got? 150. We've got thousands of wires, I assume. Yeah, loads of them. Poles are coming along, and plates are low. So I think we just literally just leave this going for a bit. Occasionally refuel it, and then when I come back, we should have enough to make the space elevator. Sounds good. Alright, see you soon.